Don't break anything again. <laughs> Quiet. Good, good. That must be one of her lights. Maybe he just needs more time. I truly think he's getting better. <laughs> Quiet. Yesterday, he collected shells from the river for Dalvon. And today, he's helping Neldis with her lights. The honorable deeds of Smeagol. I do not care if he starts writing poetry. If kindness will not help, we must find different measures. I must know what he told Gandalf. Uh, a swarm of truthlings has been visiting your gardens lately. Good. Good. Whatever it takes. I don't like this plan. I know. True things, yes. But Nell taught us how to trick them. Lionel, dwarf beard rootsies. That's what we need. to ask us, do they? What about? The precious, of course. The precious. We want it. We want it. We want it. No. No, we hate it. I hate it. <sighs> Cannot be seen. Cannot be felt. Here comes another riddle. The cook's lights. Perhaps the elves have seen them somewhere? Why don't you ask someone else? Badgers are very good listeners. No. Not nice elves. Not nice! Don't be upset. We're just very busy. <coughs> so, sunflower seeds. They are easy to carry, and the squirrels like them too. Your squirrels are starting to make me a little jealous. How are you, Smeagol? So far from home among strange folk like us. No relatives. No one to talk to. You can talk to us, you know. Like friends. Friends trust each other. <laughs> yes. Friends do not play nasty tricks. Yes. Like that wizard. He was a very tricky old man. But the king saw right through him and sent him away. We can protect you from men like him. But, see, to do so, we must know what he asked you. He asked about our birthday. Your birthday? And about flowers, irises of the Willowlands, where Smeagol lived when he was young. Nothing else? Oh, I swear, good elves, they are such nice friends. Very well, then. Neldis tells us that you help her with her lanterns. That's very thoughtful of you. You know, I saw the children play with one of them in the King's Garden. Oh, did you? I had to shoo them from the old tower again. I'm almost sure they left the light up there. You know, we can take you there if you'd like. Help you find it. Nice friends. Yes, yes, they will lead the way. Good Smeagol will follow. Excellent. Let's go. Because our feasts are not for strangers, and because your breath would gag our singers, that's just two of the many reasons why you're not invited. Keep your voice down. This is a solemn place. Up there, in the tower, where the beetles hum their peaceful song. That's where the children left the light? Yes, I believe so. Now it's your turn. We will wait here.
careful. Do you see it? Right there, where the swarm is. Don't worry, they don't bite. Yes, yes, nice beetles. Can you hear us? I feel dizzy. Uh, now tell us, what did the wizard ask you about? Oh, one moment. Beetles are humming so loud. What are you... No, wait! Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sneagle asks questions now. Where is Mel? Perhaps they know and don't tell us. They must tell us. Mel? Mel still Don't know where she is. She must be dead by now. All blind and alone. Poor girl. But so ill-mannered. Never liked her. But now I miss her. The Riggle Master. Now elves must tell us all they know. Gwendol. Gwendol. He knew Mel quite well. Did you know? Everyone knew. It wasn't much of a secret. Ah. Well, that explains it. I visited him once. Gwendol. He didn't know that I had entered. He was talking to his mirror. His notorious vanity, I thought. But then I heard another voice reply, from beyond the mirror. I'm quite certain it was Mel, sounding very kind for once. So I left, so as not to disturb them. The mirror, eh? The one in the Riddle Master's rooms. Good elves, they talk so very honestly today. What are you doing? Smeagol will have a look in the mirror. Yeah. 
left of it anyway. I'm so, so tired. I have been trying to send you my dreams through the haze, but they are dark dreams now. I need you here. The enemy has come. Find me. Come to caress Mindon. They can't cross the haze yet, but I need to seal the gate. Oh, let me think. I cannot think. The picture, the one we carved into the bark where we first met, remember? That shall be the password for the gate. Find me. Come to the source. It will be dangerous, but I am lost without you. What gate? Does it know where Mel is? Who are you? Thank you, Smeagol. Now my circle will be complete. Circle? A ring of protection for tonight's feast. Like the haze? If you will, but far less ambitious. The place where Mel and Riddlemaster first met. The cook knows about it, yes? You don't give up, do you? I do remember that night, the big oak in the King's Grove. It was the first time Mel was invited to one of the gatherings. Such an untamed child she was. No patience, no manners. Watch the King's Grove. Our feast will be there tonight. I could take you there if you promised to behave. Then again, you always end up disappointing me. <sighs> I am willing to trust you, if you can do what I shall ask of you. all you had to do. You are getting better, I see, and a breath of fresh air will not hurt you either. I shall take you to the tree tonight, if that is still your wish. Come to me whenever you are ready. She will take us to the tree. Help pack the lanterns. not far south of here in the mountains. Abandoned hundreds of years ago. That is all I can tell you about it. Now, who told you about Karas Mindon? Just elves telling stories. I like to hear stories. Go ahead. I already warned the others about you. I will stay here and put up our lanterns. <laughs> 